Greetings fellow makers, welcome down to the shop. I'm Bill and today I'm gonna to show you how to prep your resin cast kits for painting. Now these could be resin kits like we've shown you how to make in our epic mold making series. Of course you should go check out those videos if you haven't already or they could be resin kits that you've purchased from your favorite prop makers. For today's example, I will be using my own Elder Scroll kit that I made a couple of years ago and am only now just getting around to finishing. So let's get started, shall we? First, you may want to wash your resin kits with some soap and water to remove any lingering mold release, especially if this is a kit that you purchased from someone else, you don't know where that's been. Of course, depending on the quality of your kit, there may be some flashing left over on the seams. Most of the time this can be just removed by hand, but any other bigger seams can be sanded down nice and smooth. I like to start with a 400 grit sandpaper for this. If that doesn't do the trick, then I'll get a little bit more aggressive with some lower grits or some small needle files. Then you can work your way back up to a 400 grit to smooth out the area surrounding where the seams used to be. If your castings still have the pouring sprues, those can be cut off with whatever saw you have available. Then those remaining ends can be sanded smooth. You may also have to remove some thicker flashing on the edge of a mask or an eye hole. Or on my Elder Scroll kit, there's an opening that was clayed up for casting that needed to be carved out. For that, I just used my rotary tool with a cutoff wheel to remove most of the material. Then I went back in with a sanding bit to clean all of the edges up. Now, even some of the very best castings can still have some small bubbles in them and those will need to be filled up before painting. I prefer to grind these bubbles out a little bit using my rotary tool. This gives a nice surface for our filler to bond to. Now for really small bubbles, like smaller than a 16th of an inch, those can be filled in with some air drying spot putty. This gets smeared into all of those little bubbles and allowed to dry. Really big bubbles or missing pieces can be repaired using a catalyzed filler like Bondo. You mix up your Bondo with the hardener and then apply it to the afflicted area. Once it's cured a little bit, you can trim away any extra with a knife or a chisel to get it roughly to the shape that you'll need. If you're in a hurry, you can fill those bubbles in with super glue. Mix up your super glue with a little bit of baby powder to create a nice little paste. That paste can be used to fill in the bubbles and then cured instantly with an accelerant spray. No matter how you filled in your bubbles, once the filler is dried or cured, you can smooth it flush using your files, sanding sticks, and sanding paper. Now before we get to finishing and priming our piece, I want to point out that we made a major update to PunishProps.com and you should definitely go check it out and bookmark it. We have over seven years of content over there. All sorts of prop and costume making blogs and videos and articles that are worth checking out. And we've just made it a lot easier to find a lot of that content. So head on over to punishprops.com, give it a bookmark, check out some of the menus we've got there. We've grouped together a bunch of different uh, techniques, a bunch of different projects, a bunch of different material articles that are definitely worth checking out. And you'll find a link over there to a survey all about the type of video content we make here on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to help us figure out what content we should be making going forward, head on over there, take the survey. It only takes about two minutes. Thank you so much. All right, back to the build. Your kit pieces are just about ready for priming, but I would recommend giving them a good ones over with some 400 or higher grit sandpaper. I personally like to use this old fine textured sanding sponge that I've had around for a long time. It roughs up the surface just a little bit so the primer has a little bit of something to bite into. You'll also want an easy way to hang up your kit pieces so adding screws to non-vital areas can be a huge benefit. If your kit has multiple pieces like my Elder Scroll here, then consider waiting to glue them together and until you've painted the parts. Then those parts can be hung up or clamped to a stand and you can apply one or two good coats of sprayed primer to get it ready for paint. When you do want to attach those parts, be sure to sand away any areas that have paint on them that need to touch your glue. This will give the glue a little something to grip onto. For urethane kits like this, super glue works really, really well. You can just spray a little accelerant on one piece and then put glue on the other piece. Then when you mash them together, they will bond instantly. If you need a little more time to position your pieces, then consider something like a five minute epoxy. Just like that, my resin kit is ready to go and ready to get painted and you should be ready to go too. This guy right here is gonna get painted all nice and gold and I'm gonna add some gems to it and I'm pretty stoked to finally get it done. As always, all of the materials that I used for this type of work will be linked 
down in the description. Those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you use them, it helps us out a whole bunch. Thank you. I also have a whole bunch of other kit finishing videos that are worth checking out. Some axes and some helmets, some other really cool stuff that are totally worth checking out. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos. And especially thank you to our patrons over on Patreon. It's because of you guys that we are able to bring this content to you every single week. Consider going over there to patreon.com slash punished props and uh, helping out a little bit. You'll get updates whenever I have new content out and you have the option of getting some exclusive weekly posts that I do every Friday. And of course, like I said before, this video, all the relevant information and a bunch of other really great stuff are available at punishedprops.com, now organized really well for your viewing pleasure. Are you working on some resin kits? I know a lot of you guys are. I've been following a bunch of you on Instagram and on Twitter. If you're working on something really cool, I wanna know about it, let me know in the comments of this video. Or of course you can tag me over on Twitter and uh, Instagram. I'm Chinbeard on both of those. Also note that I will be at SakuraCon this week. That's the anime convention here in Seattle. I will be a judge at the cosplay contest. Uh, so if you're in the cosplay contest, then prepare to be judged by me. I'll have to bring my Judge Dread helmet for that. Thank you again for watching and remember to measure twice and try not to hurt yourself. See you next week.